Right. So, as I was telling on Friday, that questions that you work through will basically show up on this AC. So, there are a few changes, but not major. Right. So, on this particular diagram, uh, this angle is given to you. I would always travel across it and see if you know the side. Right. So, technically, your pair. That is your pair uh, angle. That's that's the one I would definitely start with. Okay, so that's sine of ten over two point zero five meters. And on the other side, you have to kind of see what can you do. This this side right here is across from this angle there. Right. So in this case, angle A can be found directly by just completing this step. Sine of that angle. Right, it's going to have to be over the side length that's across from it. It's always they're always paired up across from each other. If you have this, you get a mark there. Okay, if you have that set up like that, one mark immediately, one mark. This is going to be out of three actually, so you can change that already. Okay, so then you cross multiply and divide. So sine of angle A is 3.7 times sine of 10 divided by 2.05. Okay. And that, when you type this into your calculator, you should get something like this. And this keeps going, right? I'm going to use all decimals, so our answers might be slightly different, but you're not going to lose any marks. So to find angle A, right, you just want A, you take the inverse of that decimal. It has to start with a zero or else you will not, it will give you an error message. So angle A is 18.27 degrees. Okay. Um, marks, okay. I need to see this inverse step here. So the work, including the inverse step, I would say gets you one mark. And then the correct final answer gives you another mark. Uh, you get 26, right? Somebody got 0.26. If you use five decimals, that's okay. No deductions. You get, you get I, to, I taught it that way, so I'm going to honor it. So it, don't take marks off there for rounding. Um, so this is out of three, okay? Next, calculate the length of wire B. So you want this side, meaning you need this angle here, right, across from that side. Um, so I will first find angle B, this angle right here, because I know two angles now. I know the 10 degree that was already given, and I know this one. So if you subtract this, you get... 151, 73, or 74. It depends on what you did in A, right? So don't take marks off. So you get a mark for figuring out, for doing this step. Regardless, if you got it wrong in A, don't worry about it. You don't take marks off again, right? And then you set it up. I choose to take the pair that I had right from the get-go. That's what I chose to start with, even though you have a new pair already. And then you go sine of this angle, right, which is across from side B. And now you're solving for a side. You're not solving for an angle. So that's the difference, right? The sine inverse only shows up when you're trying to solve for an angle. So cross, multiply, and divide. By the way, you get a mark for setting it up right. And so B is 2.05 times sine of that divided by sine of 10. Uh, I would say don't do the trains. Don't add equal signs to be safe. And so if you do that, you get 5.59 meters. You get one mark for the correct final answer. Um, that's that.
right? Now the, this one, the next one is going to be a bit more challenging. So let's correct that one. Again, keep trying, okay? Um, there's a flagpole is uh, supported by two guy wires. This is supposed to be meters, right? So the two wires there. Uh, calculate the angle of elevation of the wire to the left. So they want this one here. You can keep question mark, but I always like to attach a capital letter to angle. So then right now I'm going to focus on the big triangle, okay? I always encourage you to first look at the big picture. And you do have a pair right there. Right? This angle is across this side. So that's the one I'm starting with, sine of 36 over 4.7. And I do have this side length, which is across the angle I want. So I need to write it like that, over 6. You get one mark for setting it up like that. Cross multiply and divide. 6 times sine of 36 over 4.7. Then you type this in, and you should have something that starts with a zero, seven five zero three six, and that keeps going. So angle A is sine inverse of that. And you know, best thing you can do is probably to just have an example, maybe even this example on your study sheet. That way you know the steps you need to take. And then this gives you 48.62. You get one mark for the final answer. And I would say one mark for the work in between, emphasizing the inverse that you took there to get to the final. So three marks. This is the one you need to now cut it. You need to cut this triangle, okay? So how high up the flagpole do the wires attach? So they want to know this distance here. You choose which one you want to pick, but this line cuts it. So if you want to use the right side, okay, this is a 90 because the flagpole is assumed to be vertical, right? This is my this is what I want to find. The six is there, the 36 follows, right? you have a pair right there. In this case, it's 90 is across the six. And you're like, Mr. Dirksen, but earlier, right, you just told me that six is across this angle that I found here. These two are across, I know, but now you're cutting it, right? You're getting rid of this, you're just dealing with that. So this is your new pair. And then sine of 36 is gonna give you that. So sine of 90 over six, and this is sine of 36 over x. You cross multiply and divide. And if you remember, sine of 90 is just 1. So this times this is really all you need to do. And that's 3.53 meters. That is the height. That is the height uh, that they're attached to at the top here from the ground is 3.53 meters. So one mark for setup, one mark for answer. I strongly encourage you to make that diagram when you need to cut it. You could have used the left side, I used the right side. This page is at a 11 because I made that change to the to 1A, right? Backside, some vehicle finance. Charles purchased a Toyota Tacoma from his dad. That should tell you that it's a private sale for $1. Nice to have a dad like that, right? Uh, the book value of the truck is 12,500. To pass safety, you, get, you need a set of tires 
You need to replace the uh, repair the rust for twenty three hundred dollars. It will take ninety five dollars an hour over six hours to do all that work. And you want the to total cost of parts and labor before taxes, right? So basically, you just it's in the parts and labor category. I'm going to go 1400 plus 2300 plus $95 an hour times six, right? That's essentially what's, what you're going to do. So that's 1400 plus 2300 plus 570. And that adds up to 4270. That's what I wanted. So it's before taxes. If you added taxes, as long as you were specific, like you labeled that this is before taxes and then after tax, you have both of them labeled, I would give you the mark still, yeah, as long as you're specific. And then it says calculate the total purchase price, including parts and labor and safety after taxes, right? So this is your used private. You pay the dollar, right, plus. The book value is higher, so you need to pay PST on that. AutoPack is going to charge you that. Um, then you need your safety. Sorry, the safety itself costs 75 bucks. I didn't highlight that, but that gets taxed 5%. And then your parts and labor gets taxed 1.12. Like 12%, I should say. So here, let's do some marking here. One mark for that, one mark for that, one mark for that. And then you'll get an extra mark for the correct final answer. So this gets you $1.875. This is what AutoPack is going to charge you. You're going to have to pay that before you leave that the office, basically, $8.75. Okay. Uh, then it's $78.75 for the safety and it's 4782.40 right for the parts and labor including taxes and you add all of this up you get 5737.15 that is a mark by the way sorry so this is out of four not out of three so let's make that change it's out of four to make it easier to associate a mark with each step. Justify why Charles should consider purchasing a new truck instead. You can say that it's safer. It's, uh, there will be lower maintenance, but you cannot say hidden damage. That's why I set it up that way. Because if it's your dad, I'm assuming you know everything that's wrong with it, right? So you can't say hidden, it's a family member. So hidden damage in this particular case would not go, but if it's safer, you know, um, low, it's more fuel efficient, all of those things that we talked about, they will give you a mark there, okay? So uh, now the bonus. I just want to show you on the front what the bonus was asking you for. It's basically this distance along the ground from the tower. Where are they anchored? Like what's that horizontal distance there? So I'm going to use the big triangle here to figure that out. Okay. So I basically take it like this. I figured out that this is 5.59 meters, right? The long wire. And because of that 90, you have a pair, right? I know that this angle up here is 18.27. I figured that out earlier. So that will give me this side length down here, right? So it's sine of 90 over 5.59 and sine of 18.27 over X and when you solve that you get 1.75 there are more ways of doing this uh, if you could have used the shorter wire right uh, and still get the same answer if you did that so 
one bonus mark if you get this right. So everything has to be perfect for you to get that one bonus mark. Okay. So we are out of 18, not out of 16 at the end of the day. You could potentially score 19, right? But it's out of a total of 18. So we will make that change there. Put your name and last name on there, please. And uh, I will collect it, pass it 